Right. As I said, I can't be with you here this week, but I want to have a couple of videos for everybody so that we can somewhat replicate our normal lesson. Our art bit today is going to be on the challenges of actually identifying sculpture portraits of ancient Romans, and our example will be Pompey the Great. The most famous set of Pompey the Great is this one that's on the left in the Knight Carlsberg Glyptotech in Copenhagen, although it is probably at least 50 to 100 years after Pompey's death. But if you look at this other bust on the right that's at the Louvre in Paris, it doesn't quite look the same, or at least maybe it looks like Pompey lost some weight. But what is maintained here is the little quiff of a hair up at the top on both of them that is theoretically supposed to resemble that of Alexander the Great, whom Pompey tried to emulate. But there's nothing on these statues that identifies them as Pompey. People are only going by this little hairstyle. How do you try to back that up? Well, we might look at portraits on coins, but of course, coins are very small. Die technology is not like it is today. And if we look at these three smaller portraits, none of them really seem to line up all that well with the two busts. First, we have a red jasper in Taleo with an oval ring stone that's supposed to be as Pompey. But again, we're just going by this hairstyle. We have two other coins here, both uh, minted by Pompey's sons, one in 46-45, so shortly after Pompey's death, and then another one two years later. <clears throat> but again, all you're going by is this little hairstyle right here. It's a tenuous argument to make that's just based on these coins. And it's not the only example we've seen. This used to be the most famous statue of Pompey that's in the Palazzo Spada in Rome. Hence, it was the Spada Pompey. Now, here you can already see the face and the hairstyle is completely different. We have here a heroic nude uh, holding the globe here to symbolize his conquest. He had won on, th on the three known continents at the time. In fact... It used to be thought that this was the very statue in Pompey's theater that Julius Caesar was murdered under, such as this famous painting by Vincenzo Camuccini, which is in the Capo di Monte at Naples. Here, right, you've got that Palazzo uh, Spada Pompey right here, although even that face doesn't quite look the same. There's a few other paintings that also replicate this, even without the full statue. But two things conspired to make this statue shaded in obscurity now by the Glyptotech head. The most obvious one was the discovery of this head, which is now in Copenhagen, that people just assumed was Pompey. But also, when they transported this statue from the Palazzo Spada for the first time, the head fell off. And they noticed that the head had just been attached by a wooden post to the body and was not actually ancient. So we don't have any idea who this really is. And so you, nobody really goes to see this statue anymore, even with its afterlife in the pictorial arts. So a good object lesson and that and the caution we need to take in assuming any of these portrait busts we see of Cato, of Pompey, of Crassus, of Caesar are actually these guys. Hope you guys have a great Monday.